okay so uh, so now now we shall be estimating the Pearson correlation coefficient so uh, how to proceed so, and these are my three variables right and and my target is to estimate Pearson correlation coefficient so suppose uh, so first I click analyze right I click analyze then I click in the cor cor correlate and then bivariate what does mean by bivariate between two variable so that is called bivariate the co correlation between any two variable so I click on the bivariate and so so I have the three variable one two three right so here what I do so f so I take all the variable here right I take all the variable here uh, I make it big a little bit so what I do I select all the variable and I take all the variable here okay and uh, and you know the here you can see so many methods one is Pearson one is Kendall's one is Pearman so here I choose Pearson Pearson method of co correlation between any two variable and here you can see test of significance there is one is two tail and one is on t one tail so what does mean by two tail and what does mean by one tail right okay what is two tail okay f uh, okay first I say what is two tail so when I choose two tail, uh, when I select two tail, it means that uh, there is a, a, a correlation between two variables. There is a correlation between two variables, but what type of correlation what type of correlations is it positive positive or negative correlation okay is it positive or negative correlation okay. uh, but in case of two tail that means uh, if I choose two tail two tail only say there is correlation but it cannot say the direction or the uh, but it cannot say direction or it cannot cannot say the it cannot say it cannot cannot say the type of that is whether negative or positive that it cannot say so meaning that 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 two tail can say that there is a correlation but it cannot say what type that means whether the correlation is positive or negative two tail cannot say so but then what is one tail one tail 
can say can say the the exact relation of correlation between two variables that means that means whether the relation is positive or negative okay that one tail test test can say that is wh what type of association ship is it positive or negative that that can be answered by one tail test okay so in this model we shall be using the uh, one tail test not two tail why because we know that because we know that uh, in uh, we, we know that our variables such as such as uh, such as investment uh, sorry so uh, we we know that our variables such as investment and and uh, savings has a positive relation that we already know from the population so our variables such as investment and savings has a positive relation that we all already know but we want to check it again we want to test it test it again whether investment and saving has a positive relation or not and we also know that we also know that our variables such as consumption and uh, savings has a negative relation in the population that we all already know but we want to check it we want to test it using correlation coefficient we want to test it so meaning that here the testing should be one tail not two tail why because here is a definite re re relation exist definite relation or definite uh, finding exist so we should take one tail test and the thing is that when the and the th when the relationship is not clear is not clear is not clear then only then only we can take two tail test right when the re, when the association ship between two variable is not known only then we can choose two tail test but if the association ship is known then we should choose one tail test okay okay here 
what is happening actually okay so uh, here first I talk this one uh, our variables such as investment and saving has a positive relation why because when savings goes up in the society goes up then society investment also goes up right when savings goes up then investment also goes up that we have seen from experience so meaning that savings and investment should have positive relation right so on tail test is appropriate right uh, so one tail test is appropriate to test our our assumption okay and also here we also know that consumption and savings has a negative relation how when consumption goes up then savings goes down it goes down in the society right so meaning that when people spend a lot their savings goes down that we know from the experience so meaning that consumption and savings should be negatively correlated should be negatively correlated right should be negatively correlated okay so what is our our gist our gist is savings and in a, what is our gist i am telling the gist the summary is investment and savings savings should have a positive association ship and consumption and uh, savings should have negative association ship right and here we shall be using the one tail test right to test our hypothesis that investment and savings have positive association ship and consumption and savings have negative association ship so this one should be under one tail test because we are we are sure about the association ship so we should use the one tail test not two tail